everybody. Welcome back. Um, I've got a journal to share with you that I've finally completed. As you can see, it's a retro sewing themed journal. Uh, but before I jump into um, details on the journal, I uh, just want to share that I'm also going to have this little fabric sampler um, included with the journal so that you could do some other little pockets and things, but it is a very full journal as it is. And then I've made a envelope here, and this is using uh, my Porch Prince sewing kit that she's got, and I've just made this little envelope, and inside I've just added some additional uh, journal cards, so that if you did want to add these to the journal, you could do so. So there's quite a few in there. And then it's just got a little um, Irish linen thread closure um, wrapped around it. So that's going to be included with the journal. Now the journal is six and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. One signature with approximately 76 pages. Massively gator mouthed, I'm afraid, because as you can see, it's it's an altered book, and so the spine is only about an inch, and the, the journal just grew and grew and grew. <laughs> so what I did was I covered uh, the book with some old um, pattern paper. I have some sewing-themed scrapbook paper that I bought maybe six months ago in a shop here in town, and I love it. It's very... Um, bright, colorful, very whimsical, and so it's the first time I've really had a chance to do much with that. And then, of course, this is an image from an old sewing book I've got. And this has all been um, sealed with some of the collage page. So it's all been sealed on there. I've covered the spine with, this is a fabric-themed print fabric. I've done a ruffle here, la multiple laces, and then this is a very, very old uh, tape measure, and then an old uh, button, uh, you know, the top of one of the little button holders, and then this was some little trim that I still had in my stash, so closure is um, seam binding this time with a little eyelet. And then up here, I just added a little bit of crochet doily and then some ribbon. And these are really, you can tell that's a vintage button because the design in it. I love that button. I had a little pack of those and I thought, oh, the red, it really pulls the red out from it. So it's just, I have really enjoyed this journal. Um, I don't know why some journals you just seem to really get into. And I'm... The, thinking it's probably because this is a color palette that I don't generally use, you know, very bright, but it has just, I love this journal so much, I, I'm really going to struggle to send it to a new home, but it is just, um, I don't know, found a place in my heart for sure. So on the front here, I've made a large journaling tag that fits in the back there. And of course this is some pattern paper along with images from a sewing book that I've got. And then I've got it's a little snug in there. I'll loosen that up a bit more. Um, here I've got some, you know, lots of little snippets and then this is some of the scrapbooking paper I'm talking about. It's just a really pretty pack. And then this is just a journaling card that I made and added some fabric to and a couple of little hearts. Here I've done some stamping and again that's another old uh, button. Over here I've added this, um, you know, the fabric, uh, the pattern instructions. I've just taken that and made a a paper ruffle there. And then on this side we've got another large journaling card. I backed, I tried to get, you know, cover as much white as I could, but there there are bits of white in this just because of the the style of the paper, but I have tried to um, you know, I backed things so you've got writing space. Um, 
little pocket here. So that's two pockets on that side. And then I love how this came out. This was pattern paper that has been beeswaxed, and I made it into a, a pocket there. Another handmade tag. Fabric ruffle, and then this is a, um, I don't know if that comes loose. This is a little stamped tag I've got with a button. Don't know why that came off. Probably when I had it um, closed. A little bulb pin, bulb pin there. And so I, I do love the pattern paper with the beeswax on it. I, it, it, it makes it durable. It's just beautiful. I'm going to be doing that. Stamped here with um, little stamps that says handmade is best. And then this is some old um, paper that I got at the flea market here, and it came from France. So it's it's very old, but it's nice quality. You can always tell the difference in uh, newer paper versus older. Stamped up here, I've got um, some little button stamps in my collection. And then here I've just taken uh, several layers of the pattern instruction and just stitched down that and added one of the little cutouts from the designer paper. So that's just a little heart there. And I'll show you up close so you can see. I just think that's so sweet how that came out. And then that flips over. And as I said, this is another, this is a notebook paper. It's, it is white with some um, little floral down there, but I think it suits it. Love this um, little doily, so that needed to be in there, and I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Now this is tea dye paper that I've backed with some of the pa um, pattern paper. So this I just glued down. I did not seal it, but it's been glued, so it's got a really nice feel to it. Fabric um, snippet tabs here and that I've stitched button to and then some more stamping here and then I've stitched around that with the machine and then here I've got some fabric back there with uh, seam binding so you've got some writing space here and I love this belly band how that came out I've added some little buttons from my collection and there wasn't that image adorable so sizes for children so this has all been um, sealed with collage posh because the paper was a little bit fragile and I've stitched all around that added a bulb pin and an eyelet so I think that's really sweet as you can see it's just the the patterns paper I was working with is much darker than I normally work with but I maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much I don't know but I, I'm just thrilled with how this one came out and then this is a um, little die I've got and it's the thread with the needle and thread. I just love that. It's so sweet. And then here um, with that one came the scissors. And so what I did, I cut that out on um, believe it or not, that was a teal cardstock. And then I painted it and then came back and inked it with black so that it looked like old vintage scissors. And then that's been sandwiched um, you've got the acetate to cover it, and that you can do some writing on the back there. So that I thought that was a really sweet little journal card. And again, these were those Tim Holtz sewing stamps we all probably saw if you were in the U.S. Tuesday morning. They came into Tuesday morning for a period there, and I ran out and was lucky enough to get it. And then I've stamped here, guaranteed washable. But... Um, I've only got a couple of sets of sewing stamps, but that's one of them. And uh, so, yeah, I really like that image. Um, here, another bit of the scrapbook paper added an eyelet, and there's an old button. And then this was some fabric that's spools of thread, and it's very colorful. Um, I think I picked that up at the craft fair here. If I'm not mistaken, I don't remember, or I may have, I don't know where that came from, but it's beautiful fabric. Stamp the button there. This is a book page again that I've um, made into a pocket, added trim here, and I love that 
journaling card. It's got that big button. I love big buttons. I don't know why. They make me happy, big buttons do. <laughs> so I've got like a little jar um, that I, I separate the really big buttons from the other ones um, because it's not easy to find, you know, ways to use them. But I, I just, I don't know. They make me happy. So over here, this is a journal card I made a long, long time ago. Never really fit in with anything that I was making at the time. Um, but lo and behold, you know, I finally came back around to the sewing themed and I thought, oh, I'm just going to throw it in because this one isn't really any one color. I just, I just wanted this to just be a real mix. So it's kind of like um, a patchwork and then I've backed it with some tea dyed paper. And this is some um, Kath, Kath Kitson uh, notebook paper. I love, I love those papers so much. So this has just been pinned with a little Tim Holtz paper clip there. I could have just went on and on and on with this journal, but it was getting ridiculous on um, how gator mouthed it was getting. Then I was like, okay, Gina, you got to stop. You're just going to have to make another one because it was, again, one of those projects where my mind you know, I'd wake up with ideas I wanted to add to it, and I just had to stop. Um, some more fabric ruffle here. Here I've made two little pockets, and again, used the dies that I had, and just made a couple little journal cards. I love how that one came out. That's an image from the kit, and then I stamped and added some more of the die cut. Um, some more trim. Now this was gifted to me during my friendship journal challenge. So I've used that trim there. Love this idea. Um, I was going through my drawer and I, I spotted this and it was empty. And I just added some little fabric that I had. I've stitched that inside and then I've made a little journaling space here. And of course you could do some here. You could even up here. But I thought that was a really... Um, I love how that came out. I wish I had more of these because it, it, it was... I'd love to make more of those. And then here I've just added some um, pattern instruction to some fabric. And then I've just stitched this. This was off of an old uh, tablecloth. And, you know, it was pretty stained up. And there was a couple little tears here and there. But I wanted to try to salvage it. And that just, I thought, went beautifully with this little pocket. And then I've just added that little tag. Another bit of old uh, writing paper, another old book page, added some uh, fabric ruffle here. Here I just made a little uh, tuck spot up there with some more of the pattern paper. And then this is some of the salvage off of one of the fabrics I've got. And then this came in, there's a journaling card. This came in a sewing book I picked up, and of course it was the Kath Kidston sewing book, and I, this was a little needle um, set that came with it. So I've included that. I just thought it was really sweet, and of course I love the images. So that's tucked up in there. More stitching, I mean not stitching, stamping. Stamping here, this is tea dyed. Now this is old <coughs> vintage embroidery. Um, pattern that I bought. I got a whole stack of these and I've just cut it up and added in here just purely because it's vintage and it's something different. And then here, this is the center of the signature and again this is <clears throat> Kath Kitson and these were where you could address and I just thought the polka dot and uh, the colors went beautifully with this. So <clears throat> you can do some writing in there. And then I've just closed it again with another little paper clip. Yeah, it was just a fun um, journal because I was able to, you know, gather things like this and, and incorporate. Because it doesn't always, you know, suit the journals like the botanical that I work in. So this was really, really fun. Here's a big safety pin and I've just added some little bits of scrappy um, fabric. Look at that, I've still got glue on me. I just added those so those hang over the edge of that. Um, another little 
tab that I've sewn a, bu a button onto, and then more stamping here, stamping down here. I don't know if you can see that very well. That's a beautiful little stamp with the buttons. More of the fabric trim. This was uh, gifted to me in one of my the journal um, page for my friendship journal as well. Add a little tab there, and again, you saw me, um, this was not my idea, this was Junk Journal Joy. She did a tutorial on that, and I love that. So that's a little button card up, tucked up in there, more trim. So there's still quite a bit of writing space, um, but I did pack this one pretty full. Again, another um, mix of paper and fabrics and little embroidered bits and buttons, and then another um, handmade tag that I've backed with tea dye paper. And then here I've got a tiny little uh, file folder where you can do some writing. It's got vintage style stamped there. Another tag that I made using the book pages and backed it. I love this paper. And then here I've got, this is um, another handmade tag, and then these are some old hooks and eyes, and these were made in England. And I found those along my hunt. I don't know, I've had those in my stash now for probably coming up on two years as well. So it was nice to finally have a project that I could include those in. And, you know, this as obviously can always be taken out because it has added bulk to it, but I just wanted you guys to see what all is included. More stamping, some stamping there. Um, this is a pocket that I made, and I've decoupaged all of the, um, with the, the pattern paper, It's and so it's all been sealed. It's got a really nice feel to it. Once. Okay, sorry about that. I could see that I was running out of time there. Okay, so this has been decoupage and sealed. Um, same with this tag. It's all been backed with tea dye paper and another image that's stamped there and then added to it. So that fits down in there. And then I've also got a little pocket back here and I've added another little small Rolodex card that I've cut out with that coordinating paper. A bit more writing space here, more stamping, stitching, some more of that. That's that fabric I was talking about with the spools. Beautiful. And again, that size, that's the pattern paper that's been adhered to the tea dyed paper. More writing space, another vintage sewing book page, grid paper. This is vintage grid paper as well. Um, I've got my hands on a couple of the, the old books, um, and so I've just been sparingly pulling from that. And then here, again, I've made a double pocket here, and then I just added that little button packet there, and another little mini Rolodex card. I just did two little tuck spots there. Big journaling card here. I ran some seam binding through and then that comes through on this side. At the back I did not add anything and as I said if you wanted to you could take some of these and add another pocket but as you can see it's a very very chunky journal so I don't think it could hold a whole lot more. Um, Love it. It's, it is definitely one. I'm very, very attached to this journal um, for so many reasons, but it's going to be in my shop, guys, so if you are interested in this, um, you can follow the link below to my shop. I do not sell on Etsy. I have my own website, so if you're interested, go there and check it out. And as I said, these will be included as well. So I hope everybody is safe out there. I hope you guys are all... Um, you know, staying busy, doing some nice things. It's a beautiful time of the year. And, um, you know, we've got summer to look forward to. So just hang in there, guys. And I will be back very soon. Take care.
Bye.